channel. My name is Cindy Castillo and in this video we're going to be doing a tutorial on that beautiful Lovebirds piece you just saw in the intro. It's definitely one of my favorites and by all means a very simple one to make. I'm going to be taking you step by step through the entire process. So if you want to give it a shot or just want to see how this was made then keep on watching. All right, so for this piece, we're going to need a black canvas. I'm using a 16 by 20 white canvas, which I had previously painted all black. Or you can also go to Michael's and just grab a black canvas, which they're sold as is, so you don't have to do any painting. We're also going to need black, gold, white, and red paints. You're also going to need an assortment of brushes, but in the end I found that I only needed one brush for the entire thing. You're also going to need a lead pencil, just in case you want to trace the, the birds and the trees beforehand. Uh, that's going to come in really helpful. And I'm also going to use my handy dandy dirty plate and a cup of water, of course. And I'm also using my dirty rag. And I'm also using my sponges. Uh, for this painting, I'm using the sponge to do the entire background. So to start off, we're going to grab that sponge. We're going to dip it into some water and start dipping in back and forth between the black and the white paints. And that's just going to make it easier when you're wanting to blend into the black background. Now we're going to take the sponge with our color and start dabbing away in the background. You want to create uh, a pattern with, with that sponge and start dabbing the white color all throughout. Remember that the lightest shades are going to be the parts where the birds are going to be sitting on. And you want to create that light shade just because you want the branch to stand out in the final painting. Now this is where you're going to start to put some muscle into it and start blending. You're going to start blending in all together. I'm being a little aggressive with the blending just because I want to make sure that everything just blends seamlessly and there are no like um, severe white marks in the background. If you do notice that you're having a hard time blending, you can always go back and dip into some water and that's just going to help you thin the paint and make it easier to blend. Okay, now the reason that I'm doing this uh, big white circle, it's because that's going to be the part where the birds are sitting on. So we, since we're doing the birds all black, we want to make sure that they're really standing out from the background and not blending in. You want to use your sponge and place a white paint into a circle and then with a clean part of your sponge, blend it out and make everything just flow seamlessly. This process looks really fast on camera, but you really want to sit down, take your time and just make sure that all of the colors are blended well together and that there are no gaps in your background. And for this part, we're going to start using a small brush like this one. As you can see, the bristles on it are very tight, are very short, which is going to help you just with precision and making sure that the branch is perfect. Okay, so to start out, I'm doing this horizontal black line in the middle. And it's not in the middle, it's kind of off center, but that's just the place where I want my birds to be sitting on. And from there, I'm going to just drag that line to the bottom right part, and that's where the tree branch is going to begin into the painting. Again, I'm doing this freehand, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that yet, you can always start off with a pencil and then go back and go into it with a brush. Okay. 
Now I'm doing that exaggerated uh, feathering motion right now just because I want you to really notice that when I'm drawing the branches I'm going in with a harsh black line first and then feathering that out towards the end to make it look like real branches. It's kind of like when you're drawing on your eyebrows and you're doing that feathering thing. It's the same thing but you're doing it now with branches. <laughs> Again, take your time with these paintings. I know my videos are kind of fast, but when you're at home, you can always pause this video and just continue on working on the branches, making sure they look as perfect as you want them, want them to, and just take your time with them. There's no rush here. Now we're going to start off drawing our lovebirds, which are the main focus of this painting. And as you can see, I'm freehanding them first with a lead pencil. That way I make sure that the lovebirds are in the position that I want them to and that they're standing evenly and that they are symmetrical as well. As you can see, I'm doing the heads of the birds first, and that's just going to be two circles next to each other because we want them leaning to each other. So for the bodies, um, that's just going to be like a teardrop shape and you want to start off with the chubby part on top and then narrowing it in to a point at the bottom. And of course the easy part is filling that in. Now the next part of this painting is going to be drawing in the flowers and I just want to make them look like cherry blossoms for this piece. We're going to be using the same brush that we used for the tree branch and we're just going to take that and dab into the red and the white back and forth and draw in three circles that are next to each other that from far away they're going to look beautiful as our flowers.
Now in this part of the video, I just wanted to take you into a close up and just show you how I draw in the flowers. What I'm doing is basically taking the brush and scooping into the paint, scooping into the red and scooping into the white and just dropping three dots next to each other to form the shape of the flower. Not only is this going to create the flower in itself, but it's also going to make it pop up from the painting. Now you're going to repeat that process all throughout until you get the amount of flowers that you want on your painting and until you achieve the look that you want. I just wanted to draw a few flowers, not make it that full, but it's totally up to you and again the look that you want for your painting. These white dots that I'm drawing um, are basically mimicking petals instead of full flowers and I think it's just a small detail that definitely makes your painting pop even more. Now like in my previous video where I did the purple flower base, I'm just going to take small drops of gold paint and add that to the center of the flowers for an extra, again, another small detail that's going to make your painting stand out more. And it's the same technique that I used previously where I scoop the paint and I just go over the section and drop the paint into it. That's going to create that little bubble of paint in your painting. As always to make sure that our painting is ready for hanging we're gonna go over the edges and paint it all black. Of course I know our canvas was originally painted all black but throughout the process I did smear a couple of white spots around it so I just want to go over and make sure that it's all black again. And to let everyone know this is your masterpiece, just go over with a gold sharpie and add your signature to it. And we are all done. We have completed this beautiful Lovebirds piece. Um, hope you guys liked it. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, future paintings, or designs you'd like to see, go ahead and send those my way, and I'd love to consider them for future videos as well. Thank you so much for watching, and again, congratulations on your masterpiece. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do decide to try this painting at home, go ahead and tag me on social media and send your pictures my way. I'd love to see your work. If you have any questions or if something wasn't very clear in the video, you can always drop your comments in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. That way you'll stay updated whenever new videos come up. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it. If you do like this video, don't forget it. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumb. If you do like this video, don't forget to give. If you do like this video, don't forget to give. <laughs>